I'm Oscar. And I'm Dan. And today we're in Rio. Previously on Oscar and Dan. Bye for now, Salvador. This is one of my mom's old friends who I grew up seeing. Hey! Oh, Good <laughs> It's like on the wheel or something. Yeah. <laughs> this is going surprisingly well. <laughs> Alright, it's kind of a desperate situation because we haven't had any breakfast. We just checked in. But now I was just walking past this burger place. Oh my god, Bob's Burgers! <laughs> and I saw the sign, I was like, Feto de plantas or something. And I was like, plant base? We're gonna see if this is a vegan burger because that would be good. It's so freaking amazing. Literally everywhere we go, there are vegan burgers at some type of burger place. Even within like the four years that we've been vegan, we've seen such an improvement in how easy it is to find vegan options as we travel. And it just keeps on getting better. So that's, we love seeing it. How are you I never thought we'd actually eat at Bob's Burgers in real life. <laughs> this is a dream come true. We have two zero beef burgers and our new favorite soda in the world. I mean, we never drink soda anywhere, but Guarana, Brazil, you know how to do this. Uh, we only have one week left in Brazil today. And honestly, it makes me sad. We've been here over two weeks now. So I'm starting to be like, wait, do I live in Brazil? Is Brazil my home? Now let's head to departures. Look at these stairs, by the way. Come on, pride. Again, we paid like $20 and $20, $21 bills to uh, fly a premium economy, which seems very worth it. Well, so we are extra lucky today because we're the only passengers in premium economy. And we asked the crew which row will have the nicest view when we land, so we moved over here and hopefully we get the iconic Rio landing view. So excited to see it. This is one of the coolest landings ever. Taxis royally tried to scam us. The price on Uber was 22. Then the taxi guy was like, yeah, it's a set price, 150. We were like, yeah, this is why people hate taxis. So we're taking an Uber and then we are going to a super, well, I don't know if it's super fancy, but a fancy hotel that we splurged for four nights to get some real relaxation. Which after sleeping under a mosquito net for a few nights will be uh, a nice contrast. The weather here is literally as perfect as it gets. Sunny, great temperature, not too hot, not too cold. This is gonna be nice. It's just so exciting to be in Rio. Everyone has said such good things. Which is generally not good because you don't want high expectations. So I'm trying to like lower them as much as possible. That's true. This is such a nice room. Okay, I don't even know where to start. I feel like I look crazy, but I probably am crazy. <laughs> Every once in a while, it is nice to treat yourself. And it's still only like $110 a night. The highlight of the room and of the hotel is just, what's right here? Wow, the view of Copacabana Beach, probably the most famous beach on Let's cheer. Cheers to Brazil. Brazil. Heading out for some, what meal is this? It's 4.30 p.m. It's so. what we like to call a dunch, a uh, dinner lunch. Okay. 
can already tell that the vibe here is so different from Sao Paulo and Salvador. It's a completely different thing. <laughs> Whoa! Hello! Wow! This is pretty cool. We made it to our restaurant and uh, this is a very nice neighborhood. So far, I'm, I'm loving it. I don't know why, but I'm getting this like really, I don't know, just really nice feeling being here. This is something about the place, something about the vibe. Beach, the other beach. The other Tyra. We're about to walk as far as we can get back to our hotel, but the beach is more than three kilometers long, so I don't think we'll even get the whole way down before sunset, which is in 20 minutes. So there's these three massive ships on the horizon. I was talking to Oscar because I get this weird thing where just out of nowhere when I see that, I just get this rush of joy. I get goosebumps. Like, I don't know how to explain it because I'm not a boat enthusiast in the same way as I'm a plane freak. But still, there's something about it that like makes me feel so free. They remind me of how connected our world is. They remind me of the exotic adventures that lay beyond the horizon. It makes me so happy. I don't know why. That guy up there, he's kind of famous. He was kind of a big deal like 2,000 years ago. sound cliche but like Rio is really one of those places that ever since I was a child I just got this vision of it from other people and from media and stuff as such a like cool and magical and exotic place and just being here now feels almost surreal it's just really cool I'm really grateful probably one of the most iconic cities in the southern hemisphere We're in the Havaiana store. We're getting these for Oscar. I thought they were really cute. Look at this with the little boat. Honestly, I love them. I would want them too if I hadn't got the classic white ones somewhere over there. Good morning from Rio de Janeiro. It is a beautiful day. I can't even believe how gorgeous it is outside. First, we're going upstairs to go for a morning swim in the pool. Then, we're finally going up to Christ the Redeemer, probably one of the most iconic statues on the planet. What even is this place? Just magical. Going to see Jesus. Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> I couldn't have picked a better day to go up to see the Jesus statue. I think it's gonna be absolutely amazing. Thank you, Weather Gods. We made it to the train, it's right there, and we're just gonna buy some water and then head up. We're so excited. Yeah. All right, Oscar, right here. We get to skip the line because we pre-bought. There's no reason to stand in line here and wait so long when you can just order online and skip everything. It's the same price. So we're enjoying the shade and we're ready to go. Wait, the photographer of all this art is Swedish. Oscar Fust. Eh? They're all by Oscar Fust. Eh? I'm looking forward to seeing these views that we're getting from here. Yes, we cannot wait. And this is like the first touristy thing we're doing really in the city, so made sure to maximize the good weather. This is our souvenir. And the train is Swiss, so I guess we're getting a bit of a Switzerland throwback. It feels like we're back on the Glacier Express. 
And off we go! Oscar, we made it! I am under Jesus. There he is. We've been standing here enjoying this view in the shade because we're scared to go into the hot sun, but I think it's time to, to brave the elements. Something tells me we weren't the only people who had the idea of coming here today. No. <laughs> it's very cool to have the statue up here, but honestly, the reason to come up here is the view, not the statue. I mean, honestly, from all the cities we've been in, I must say this is unparalleled in terms of natural location. Fun fact, did you know you can actually pray in here at the bottom? like 100% random but at one point in my life my favorite movie was 2012 as in the the world is collapsing disaster movie and there's this scene in that movie when the statue of Christ falls over and like breaks down and for some weird reason ever since I saw that scene I've wanted to come here today's the day and I can't say I was let down by how amazingly beautiful it is up here heading back down this time we know which side to sit on Boy, it's 2 p.m. We just made it to a restaurant. We haven't had anything to eat today, so we're busy, delirious, and every excited to eat. So excited to eat. We really, really hope this is good now. It's a buffet. All right, here we go. Brazil is the country of buffets. Like, no country does buffets like Brazil does it. Oh, this is not what we thought we were getting. But, uh, I mean, it's definitely local, for sure. We thought it was a buffet, but apparently not. I guess due to COVID, we uh, got to order five dishes each. And for dessert, hopefully some good acai. Oh my god. What? Wow. These are huge. Beach. Our hotel is right there, so we just came down. It's so cool to be here. Oh, the sand here is amazing. It's a little busy and buzzing for my taste. Not just a snobby thing to say, but if you look out at the beautiful view, you can pretend you're alone with nature and just enjoy it that way. Enjoy it like this. Just ignore all this. I mean, it's a beach like no other. You won't find a Copacabana beach anywhere else in the world, I guess. Normally, we would choose a quieter beach just for ourselves personally, but this is a fun experience. Thoughts on the swim? Beautiful, amazing, quite cold, sort of like Sweden. We gotta give one point to Salvador for water temperature, but I mean, this is pretty amazing. We are currently about an hour late for our meetup with a friend. Not an hour, 30 minutes, but she's Brazilian, so we're pretty sure she's an hour later than us. Exactly, so, so it should be fine. <laughs> so, we are about to see our friend who we met five years ago volunteering in South Africa. We're so excited because she's one of the funniest people we've ever met. Her name is Barbara, she's from Rio, so can't wait. Yay! <laughs> Yay! We just came from there. We were in Salvador. Salvador? Yeah, before this. Salvador and Itabarica. Ah. <laughs> 
So while waiting for a table at the restaurant we're going to, we're gonna go try to have some acai because uh, we're hungry and uh, there's a line for the restaurant. And the place we're going to is Barbara's favorite acai place. Let's see if this could beat all the acais we've seen so far. We've been waiting now for the table for a long time, but Barbara is like, her feisty inner Brazilian is coming out. They said it would be fast for a table two hours ago, so... We had to get Guaranás again, of course. We have fallen in love. Obrigado. Exciting. Wow, this looks... That looks really nice. Really? So with this, do you just mix everything? Yes. Have a broccoli. Oh. Ay, ay, ay. ay, ay. <laughs> Looking at old pictures. Oh my god. <laughs> and Olivia, Ipolin. Uh... Apron, my favorite. Your favorite? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. we just want to say goodbye. Bye, bye. Camera bye. as well. <laughs> it's so good to see you again. Yes. Is this our car? Yeah, this is our car. Bye. bye. So good to see you. <laughs> <sighs> okay, a bit of a lazy night. We're not lazy, we've been working, but we decided to get pizza for dinner. Since that's authentically Brazilian, since they have so many Italians. Okay, I don't know how to open. All right, here it is. For some reason, they did 50-50 pizzas, so they could have just easily given us one each of what we ordered, but I mean, this works too. And it's time to stay up to date on Drag Race UK. So as if those pizzas weren't enough, <laughs> Brigadero pizza for dessert, which looks crazy good. Somebody needs to stop us. Next time on Oscar and Dan. They have banks here, they have all the shops they need here. There's basically no natural light down here. Please get f***ing drunk, you said. Different levels of wealth. Lowest level of the favela. But it's the same human beings like we are. Hi there. So an Accutane diary for the end of the video, I guess. What is this? What is happening to my face? It is one month tomorrow since I started taking Accutane. My skin feels less dry than it did in the beginning, but it could just be because we're in a more humid climate. But I'm dry. I'm in pain. I can't open my mouth because I have wounds on both sides. I keep getting weird things on my lips. This on my chin has not healed in like 10 days now. I have a situation here. Who knows how long it will take for this to heal. So um, exciting. <laughs>